I'm Abby Wade Abston. I'm 12 years old, and I've been doing theater for about six years. I have only been doing stage theater. I've never done any um, major, major productions, though I really want to. Um, I think that I've always been drawn to theater. My, I was, my mom was, has been in the theater since she was about nine. So, I think that I think I'm just drawn to that, as well as I think that it's something that's not just, it's not like a sport. It's an art. You can't. Not everybody can act. Mr. Mayor, before you vote to tear down the traffic circle, I have something I want to say. I speak for a small group who has done extensive research on a city and the traffic circle and its problems. We have found two causes for the recent accidents that happened on the traffic circle. Other than ghosts? One is that it is built on the site that is previous city dump. That makes the ground unstable, and until properly backfilled, it will remain that way. And the second reason is that it is built on a site that was once a sacred ground to the local Native American people who were long before it was settled with the American Western movement. I don't see what that has to do with... Oh, let her finish. Thank you, Mr. Bernard. Backfill and cement will not solve the second issue. As a matter of fact, Ms. Oh, I skipped, I skipped your line. And I suppose you have a resolution for the backfill and the cement? As a matter of fact, Mr. Mayor, we do. We? You represent a constituency now? My, friend, my friends and I have come up with a plan to solve the problem, and, one, and once and for all. And you won't have to tear it down. If it will... If you will submit it to the city planning committee, let her finish. What are you afraid of? We want to hear her ideas. And that plan would be to do what? We have gotten promises from several local citizens, voters of the community too, citizens who have volunteered their time and talents to assist in the project. We have a plan and a project. Most of our suggestions for improvement to the city come in the form of one or the other. I'm impressed. At any rate, these people have volunteered to do the following. Patty Henderson's father will provide the backfill and cement from his construction company to make the ground a stable, and he'll build a new structure. Jamel Mills' father, who is an architect, will provide the drawings for the new structure. Jonah Hawkins' father will make sure that the structure is built properly and meets city codes. And Marcia Hubbard's father will provide what? My father will f allow it to happen. You can't just have a bunch of, of... Bunch of what? Everyone is licensed in the state and the city. At least their fathers are. I don't know if my father had a license to be a mayor or not. Okay, let's stop there. Can you do that last line real quickly and just do it really angrily? All right. Bunch of what? Everyone is licensed by the state and city. At least... <laughs> At least their fathers are. I don't know if my father had to have a license to be mayor or not. Okay, good. I hope you're happy. You ruined her night, too. Yeah, I feel terrible. Is that ring for her? I don't see how that's any of your business. Fine, be a Scrooge. You tried to steal from me on Christmas Eve. I think that makes you the Scrooge. Oh, you could have gotten another one. You, you could have turned around and gotten a new one without even blinking an eye. Oh, so it's okay to steal just as long as it's from people who have money? Great moral code. I'm impressed. Some of us don't have the luxury of having a high moral code, like you. I don't think not stealing is really a high moral code. It's pretty basic. That's easy for you to say when you're sitting there in a nice, thick winter coat and expensive Italian gloves. With enough money in your pocket to drop probably close to $20,000 on a ring. It was $22,000. I apologize. See, that's exactly what I'm saying. With that kind of money, I could, get, I could find a place to stay that has heat and running water. I could get my baby sister off the streets. And maybe we could have a chance to get back on our feet again. But people like you, all you care about is that I ruined your precious evening. Isn't there somewhere you or your sister can go? Like a foster home or maybe a group home? Those are always fun. I'm not going anywhere without her. You can't stay together? 
Not anymore, it seems. Sarcastically, I apologize. And then sad about uh, what you could have done with that kind of money and stuff. All right. And then, uh, then once it's people like you, you're kind of mad at the people for doing these. As long as, you know, not making that stuff. All right. Or just for having the wrong priorities, really. So you're going from just sarcastic and then you're just kind of thinking about All right. Does that make sense? All right. Go ahead and try. All right. I apologize. See, that's exactly what I'm saying. With that kind of money, I could find a place to stay that has heat and running water. I could get my baby sister off the street, and maybe we could have a chance to get back on our feet again. But people like you, all you care about is that I ruined your precious evening. Great. That was good. Um, I'd like you to do it this time and just be really angry. I want you to yell through the entire thing. I apologize. See, that's, a, that's exactly what I'm saying. With that kind of money, I could find a place to stay that has heat and running water. I could get my baby sister off the street. Maybe we could, find a, we could have a chance to get back on our feet again. But people like you, all you care about is I've ruined your... S <laughs> you could have said stupid. <laughs> Sorry. It was that's really good. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. Do it one more time. This time, do it slower so you're not tripping over your words. And don't worry. If you go off script, you can just keep talking. We will not care. Yeah. Okay? So just um, go slower so you're not going too fast. But that was really good. We started to see kind of like the gangsta in you. <laughs> you're going to kill us all. So, okay. So, so try it one more time. I just time. see you guys as some of my worst enemies. <laughs> there you go. That's all I have. <laughs> I apologize. You see, that's exactly what I'm saying. With that kind of money, I could find a place that has heat and running water. I could get my baby sister off the street, and maybe we could have a chance to get back on our feet again. But people like you, all you care about is that I ruined your precious evening. That was good. That was great. Hi, I'm Abby Wade Abston. Um, I'm 12 years old and I've been acting since about six years. And I think that my f theater is my life. I've been doing it all my life and I can't imagine doing it any other way. I think that theater has really brought out the best in me. And I think that it, since my mom was in the theater for all her life too, I think that it's just, I. I couldn't see my life without it. There's, I've got pretty much nothing. I come here and I go to the theater and I just have a blast.